Hi, I'm Paul from Versatile, and today we will be showing you how to calibrate your AC400. Using the decal on the left side of the air card frame, find your desired application rate and set the range transmission accordingly. In this case, our desired rate is 50 pounds per acre, so I need to set the range transmission to a one-to-one -one ratio. Also take note of the zero max position. This will be needed later on in the calibration process. The range transmission decal is located on the right hand side of the air cart. Reference this decal to set the range transmission. Remove the catch tray. Back off the wing nut to remove the lower cover plate. Using a 3 quarter inch wrench, back off the bolt on the cover plate and remove the cover plate. In the tractor cab, engage the clutch on the tank you are calibrating. Verify the master clutch is off. Prime the metering roller using the hand crank located directly in front of the rear left wheel. Once the metering roller is primed, replace the tray and head back to the tractor. Turn on the variable rate power control. Turn on the air seeder monitor. Wait for the zero max startup calibration to complete. Acknowledge any alarms by pressing the Acknowledge button. Once the startup calibration is finished, use the up-down arrows to navigate to the tank you wish to calibrate. In this example, I will be calibrating the front tank. Press and hold the Acknowledge button for four short beeps and one long beep to enter the calibration process. Use the up-down arrows to change the application rate. In this example, we will use 50 pounds per acre. Press mode to advance to the next step. Use the up-down arrows to set the zero max position found on the chart earlier. In this case, I will set the zero max position to 30. Press the mode button to advance to the next step. In this step, we will be metering out the seed, so head back to the air cart. Use the hand crank to meter out the seed for the calibration. A minimum of three full rotations of the metering roller is required to advance to the next step. When the tray is full, remove the tray and scale the metered seed. Head back to the tractor cab and enter the weight. Verify that the number of revs displayed on the screen matches what you actually metered and press the mode button to advance to the next step. Use the arrow keys to enter the weight. Press the mode button to advance. The calibration factor will be displayed. Press the mode button to advance. The range will be displayed. If the range is flashing, the range transmission is not set correctly and there will be a range alarm when seeding. Press mode to advance. Press acknowledge for four short beeps and one long beep to save the calibration.